Would you like to know what are the most common mistakes that people do when they're choosing a surveillance system for their home, office or an apartment? Hi, my name is Sibin and I'm going to talk to you about a few of the common mistakes that people do when they're choosing a surveillance system for their home. The first thing is with regards to hard drive or storage. We have hard drives for laptops, for desktops, for servers, for surveillance. So what's the right one for you? Definitely the surveillance hard drive because this hard drive is going to run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and 365 days a year and there's enormous amount of data that's going to come in. Now how do you know if it's a surveillance hard drive? If you're choosing WD, WD has it under the name WD Purple and it starts from 1 TB and goes on up until 12 TB. Now if you're choosing a Seagate hard drive, you have it under the name Seagate Skyhawk Surveillance and Seagate Surveillance hard drive has it up until 14 TB. Now what's the right storage space that you need? That I've already shared it in my previous video of how to do the calculation and how much data each camera would be taking. The next thing is with regards to DVR or NVR. DVR is something that we choose when it's an analog camera setup and NVR is the, something that we choose when it's an IP camera. We have DVR starting from 4 channel, 8 channel, 16 channel, goes on up until 256 channel. So if you have eight cameras, I would always suggest choose 16 channel because you always have room for expansion. Now, if you have eight channel DVR for an eight for eight number of cameras, then after a year, if you feel that you need to add more cameras, then you need to invest in new hard drive, new DVR, new power supply and maintenance is going to be difficult as well. The second thing about choosing DVR is definitely the clarity. Now, if you are installing cameras with 2 megapixel resolution, a 2 megapixel DVR would be fine. But after 2-3 years, if you feel 2 megapixel was very less and you need to upgrade the cameras, it's always wise to go for a higher resolution DVR. So you have room for expansion in future. The next thing is with regards to cameras. Now, what can go wrong when you are choosing a camera? The first thing is with regards to resolution. That is. It starts from 1 megapixel and goes on up until 8 megapixel. So depending on how much clarity you need, you can choose from 1 to 8. Then the next thing that can go bad is IR, that is the night vision. Now IR is a short form of infrared. Now if it's a closed room, you can go for a basic night vision or a basic IR. But when it's an open space like roadways or layouts or an open ground, you need to go for strong IR with smart IR. Now smart IR is something which covers the entire screen instead of concentrating the IR only on the center of the screen and it automatically adjusts the light and intensity depending on the object which is placed there. So choose the right IR. It starts from 10 meters, 20 meters and goes on up until 150, 200 meters as well. So. These are the three things that we talked about. One is choosing the right hard drive, the right DVR and the right cameras. There are a few more mistakes that people actually make when they are installing a surveillance system, which I'm going to talk about in my next video. Until then, if you have any comments, please do put it in the comment section below. See you in my next video.